different topic of TSM. Yes. Now, in biostatistics, there are ten topics. Topic number one was measure of central tendency. How do we calculate the measure of central tendency? We take the mean, median, and mode. Whenever we talk about the mean, we talk about the arithmetic mean. How do we calculate the arithmetic mean? I add all divided by the sample size. Median arranged in ascending or descending order, and the middle value is the median. Mode is the most frequently occurring. In case of a normal distribution, what is a normal distribution? Mean equal to median is equal to mode. The most preferred is the mean. Non-normal distribution, mean not equal to median, not equal to mode. The most preferred is median. Outlier, any extreme value. Outlier is a type of a non-normal distribution. In case of an outlier, the most affected is the mean. The least affected is mode, but we do not prefer the mode, and there is no statistical test for the mode. We prefer the median. By model, there are two peaks, uniform and non-uniform. Uniform is also called as your backed up distribution where both the peaks are of the same height. Non-uniform, both the peaks are not of same height, and that's where we use a formula. Mode summary is 3 into median minus 2 into mean. There are different types of mean, arithmetic mean, and or divided by the sample size. Geometric mean, the way bacillus multiply. Arithmetic mean and harmonic mean. Harmonic mean is 1 upon arithmetic mean. Weighted mean where different components are given, different weightage or different importance. This is the topic one. Topic number two, measure of dispersion of deviation of data. In maths, we use it as range. Range is minimum to maximum value. But in stats, we do not use it. In stats, we use standard deviation and standard error. Standard error is calculated for population. Standard deviation is calculated for sample. Standard deviation is called as root mean square of deviation. Standard error is S D by root over n. Standard error is root over P Q by n. Z score is x minus mean by standard deviation. C O V it is a unit free measure to compare two dissimilar variables. C O V is S D by mean into 100. Topic number three: distribution of data. Two types of distribution: normal and non-normal distribution. Normal distribution is also called as Gaussian distribution. It is a bell-shaped curve, bilaterally symmetrical. Area under the curve is 1 or 100 percent. Mean is equal to median is equal to mode is equal to prevalence. Plus minus 1, 2, 3, standard deviation is 68, 95, 99. Now remember, non-normal distribution, right or positive skewed, jidhar ka skewness, mean hamesha us side. So in a right skewed, mean is maximum, then we have medium, then we have mode. Left or negative skewed, the mean will be least, then we have the median, maximum is the mode. Poisson's distribution, probability distribution, no diagram or curve, it is event over a period of time. Topic number 4a. Variable. Variable is any characteristic. Most important classification was quantitative versus qualitative. Majority of the variables can be both depending upon how it is measured. Quantity matlab kitna, quality matlab kaisa. If I say his weight is 80 kg, quantity. If I say his normal weight, it is quality. But there are some variables which is polytomous. Binary dichotomous, only two answer. Polytomous, more than two answer. Third, discrete versus continuous. Discrete cannot take in between values. Matlab decimals nahi hota hai. Continuous can take in between values, that is we have a decimal. How do we measure this? Topic number 4B, scales of measurement. Quantitative is measured on a metric scale. Qualitative is measured on a categorical scale. Categorical scale is of two types, nominal and ordinal. Nominal names only, ordinal, ordered data. In ordinal, a special type of scale, Likert scale, it is human behavior. It can tell you the median and the mode. It can never tell you the mean. Topic number 5, graphical representation of data. Most important table, scatter diagram, relationship. Bar diagram, quality data. Histogram, quantity data, scatter plot relationship, Venn diagram, overlap, tree diagram, progression, pictogram, simplest, so very important table. This brings me to scatter diagram, that is regression and correlation. It is nothing more than the equation of straight line, y is equal to mx plus c, with three important key points. First, r ranges from minus 1 to plus 1. Second, minus means inverse, plus means direct or forward. Regression and correlation only tell you about relationship. They do not tell you about association, possession, or absolute magnitude of variables. Quartile, square means 4. Normal, nothing is written, always considered to be normal, 4 equal parts. Non normal, the 4 parts are unequal. IQR ranges from Q1 to Q3. Q2 is the median. Topic number 6 probability. If it is dependent, we add. If it is independent, we multiply. Topic 7a, sample size, n is equal to 4 pq by d square. Topic number 7b, sampling, random and non-random, random, simple random, lottery method, convenient is as per my choice, stratified, meaningful random, quota, meaningful non-random, cluster, non-meaningful random, systematic, orderly, multi-stage and multi-phase, multiple stages are there. Topic number 8, confidence. Whenever you see the word confidence, that is CL or CI or population, you have to calculate the standard error. How do you calculate the standard error? SD by root over n and root over PQ by n. And apply the same theorem. Mean is equal to median, is equal to mode, is equal to prevalence. Plus minus 1, 2, 3. Standard error is 68, 95, 99.
Second, interpretation, three rules. Rule A, Rule B, Rule C. Rule A, if the CI touches the null value, it is insignificant. Rule B, more the distance of point estimate from the null value, more is the significance. Rule C, smaller the CI, more is the significance. Okay? You have to apply the rules in a sequence. CI is inversely proportional to quality. If it is quality, 99% times answer is chi square. We will do Fisher exact only when in the 2 by 2 number of chi square the value is less than 5. If it is quantity, then algorithm number 2, 2 groups, T test, more than 2 groups, and over. Topic number 10, hypothesis testing. Null hypothesis, when both are same, drug 1 equal to drug 2, H is 0. Alternate hypothesis, H or H1, drug 1 not equal to drug 2, and drug 2 probably is better. If the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, it is significant. When it is significant, alternate hypothesis is correct. If p-value is more than alpha, it is insignificant. That means it is null hypothesis is true and alternate is false. Whenever you get a question, read the question carefully and decide in reality, in RCT, which hypothesis is true. Then draw perpendicular lines. The point of intersection gives the answer. The 2 by 2 table, cell number 1, in both the null hypothesis is true. This is called as confidence. Cell number 4 is in both alternate hypothesis true. This is called as power. Cell number 2 is basically when you start doing the error. So basically in this error, in reality, the alternate hypothesis is true, but in RCT, the null hypothesis is true. This is type 2 error. Cell number 3, type 1 error. In reality, both are same, but you made a mistake and said both are not same. Type 1 error. Type 1 error is also called as p-value or alpha or false positive. Cell number 2 is beta or type 2 error or false negative. Which is more dangerous? Type 1 error or alpha or false positive. This is all about statistics in 5 minutes. Thank you. Guys, the reason I have done this is to explain this to you. The work you have done for 8 hours, you can read it in 8 minutes. But you have to do the first work for 8 hours. And this 8 minutes what I have told you, now drives your entire revision. You are studying any subject, you are studying anything. You just start revising in this manner. Trust me, you will remember everything. प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है हम यही चीज उसमें यहां पे है और जिसने पेज पलट पलट के देखा होगा आपने देखा होगा मैंने लगभग हर इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आपको बताया है लेकिन उसका यूज वो आपको तभी समझ पाएगा जब आपने क्वेश्चन बनाया है डन है ओवर फिनिश खत्म नाउ वी विल चेंज द चैप्टर ठीक है आराम से हां हां बस ए अभी जान रुको अभी न्यूट्रिशन ही तो पढ़ा है नाउ हां तुम्हारे न्यूट्रिशन का भी सोचेंगे टेंशन मत लो हम वो रूल नहीं लगा रहे यहाँ पे हमें सिर्फ एक चीज देखना है